Okay, this is the uh, engine bay of a 1987 uh, GMC 1500 two-wheel drive pickup up truck. Uh, it is the original 350 from what we can tell. There's never been a bolt turned on it from what I can see anyway. But it is definitely a 350 the way it was released from the factory. The uh, tag is still on the front of the uh, uh, radiator core support here, which is, by the way, totally undisrupted in the way it was in 1987 when the car was built. Uh, the uh, smog pump is still hooked up and functional on this engine yet. No one's removed it. does have factory air conditioning. Um, newer battery in it. Someone's just put a brand new battery in it. has power steering, power disc brakes in the front. Um, geez, I, the, the whole engine is just the way it came from the factory. It's a, um, a 350. Uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds, the inner fender panels are totally undisrupted, the uh, original air cleaner with the cold air intake system still intact and functional, um, insulation underneath the hood, nice and fresh and clean, just the way it was when it was new. Uh, these, um, these motors did a, a pretty good job of pulling these things along pretty well. Uh, they had a nice amount of torque to them, not a high horsepower motor, but it did produce a good amount of torque. Oh, by the way, the jack is still hooked up over here with the jacking instructions also. Uh, everything on this vehicle is as it was in 1987 when it was released. So we're going to go around the rest of it and show you whatever we can. Okay, today we're going to present to you a 1987 uh, GMC 1500 two-wheel drive pickup truck. Um, this truck appears, I really can't see anywhere it's been painted, to be honest. Uh, the, the paint is very, very nice on it. Uh, at that era, they started getting a lot better with their paint from what they were in the 60s whenever we had the Camaros and Roadrunners and everything else. Uh, they really did a much better job back in the uh, uh, later 80s with the paint that they applied to these. Nice paint on it. There's no blemishes whatsoever that I can detect. Absolute flawless gap the whole way around. This would clean up to the uh, cowl area. There's no uh, windows or anything missing in the uh, plastic grill. Uh, the headlights are nice and clean. All your silver paint uh, around the uh, grill uh, surround is nice. There's no, I don't see any dents whatsoever on the uh, uh, anodized aluminum trim that's around the uh, uh, grill also. Front bumper, there's no uh, marks whatsoever on the chrome, and I believe it is the original front bumper. Excellent condition. I mean, the car truck is in absolutely gorgeous condition from what I can see. I just did a quick walk around before we started the video. Has a front spoiler on it, which I'm sure did not come from the factory, but uh, has a nice little look to it. Going down the side of it, as you can see, the paint on this thing is just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And again, I can't really tell you that it isn't original because I, I can't really find any uh, paint lines anywhere on the vehicle. GMC Sierra designation on it, the set of rally wheels with white litter tires, uh, trim around the uh, wheel lips, just as nice and fresh and clean as you'd hope to ever find. does have air conditioning, so it has tinted glass in the front, its sides, and the back. Uh, correct wiper arms and blades on this vehicle also. Top of the dash, uh, there's no deterioration, no cracks of it whatsoever. Very nice and clean. Vin plate, nice and legible on it. Of course, a set of nice mirrors on this, on this guy so you can see the trailer or, or water bug trailer or whatever you're going to tow with it. Um, drip rail, there's no marks whatsoever on it. Uh, chrome on the door handle. Look at the chrome on the side of this thing, too. I mean, there's no door indentures or, or marks on it anywhere. I don't see a single mark on the driver's side. We'll see what happens on the passenger side, though. Look at the gap on the doors, though, front and the back here. But the front's the same way. Just absolute precision fitting on it. GM did a nice job on these things. Uh, they built enough of them, so they definitely had the time to get it right. Uh, the door panels on the inside are the original door panels that came with this guy. Uh, a little bit of a sun fade on top, but not uh, really, uh, you've got to really look to see it. Steering wheel has no cracks or marks whatsoever in it. Nice uh, clear uh, gauge cluster enclosure. Uh, the dash itself, the, uh, as you face it, tilt wheel too, by the way. A uh, pretty high option car from what we can see. It's uh, velour seating in it. The carpeting is the original with the original style GM uh, floor mats still intact on them. And it, things like this, you know, that you don't normally see. You know, people will repaint things. And this still has all the original screws, your latches uh, on both sides, and even on the body. Devin will show you that uh, 
Uh, they're all original. They don't have any overspray on them from uh, being painted through the years. Door jams, uh, the doors themselves, everything is just as fresh and clean as you'd ever have to find. Door closes just the way it should, gas filler door. You know what these are, I'm going to call them banisters, but uh, they uh, top of the bed here so that uh, you don't put any marks, elbow marks or anything in it, lifting things out. Um, the side of this vehicle is almost, it, it, it's hard to believe that somebody put together a uh, pickup truck with this uh, uh, type of resolution. It's very, very straight down the sides, literally laser straight, because these are straight. There's no curvature whatsoever to them, but this is what's amazing. Look at this. There's absolutely no deterioration whatsoever in it, absolutely none. Um, it does have a bed pan in it, it uh, and it doesn't even have any marks on it. It's just the way it was uh, uh, when it was installed way back when, and you can see it's been on there for a while. It's just not uh, one that was thrown on. Uh, anodized aluminum on the back. These are usually deteriorated all the heck. There's a little dent here. There is a dinghy right here. You can see that. We're going to point it out. North Carolina. Um, sales decal on the back of it, step bumper, which is aftermarket, this isn't the uh, factory release bumper, but it is an aftermarket heavy duty bumper that you can put a hitch on if you uh, choose to do so. Um, <clears throat> passenger side, the tail lights, I forgot to mention over there, and their, their uh, basils around them, everything is as clear and fresh as you'd ever want to find on any vehicle. And again, look how nice this trim is done aside. And all four wheel lift moldings. There's absolutely no marks whatsoever, not on one of them. Guess what? There's a gas tank on this side too. So it has two gas tanks on it. The um, door on this is going to be the same as the other one. Nice uh, fitment in the back. And it does have the door edge protectors also, stainless steel. And the front the same way. Everything lines up and it's nice and linear as can possibly be. And seating area, I'm going to show you something real quick here. It still has the original uh, manuals in the glove box, and it has your option list right here also in the glove box so that you can check, and the serial number plate over there also in the glove box. So everything shows you originality. Seat belts, of course, in the front. Now, there are no ones in the back because there isn't any. Um, again, a little bit of fade on the top of this door from sun through the years. Apparently a North Carolina vehicle, and the door jams the same way as the other side. And we still have, I have not been able to detect any repaint on this vehicle anyway. If it was done, it, it is done in such a way that there's absolutely no uh, indication that, it, that the car's been repainted. So I'm going to call it original paint on this thing. Uh, it shows 34,000 miles. I just looked. Now, whether that's correct or not, I don't know, but it certainly uh, appears to be. Uh, same thing on the front here, still no marks on, on this. We found one little dinghy in the back, and that's it. And we're back where we started again. Uh, if you're in the market for a uh, pickup truck, a short box uh, GMC 1500 with a 350 in it, power steering, power brakes, factory air conditioning, and apparently no paintwork. If there is any, I can't detect it. Someone may have to be a little bit better than me on uh, paint, and, and uh, I, I just can't tell you that this car's been... Uh, uh, molested in any way or restored in any way. Everything appears to be original. It's a vehicle that uh, would love you to come down and take a look at it, you know, in person. But if you can't, that's why Devin's compiling all these photographs and these videos that we do to put on the website that's, so you can take a look at this. And, and we know you can't if you're in California or Maine or, or Washington State or something, you know, you just can't jump on a bird and come down and take a look at it. So he's trying to put this together as high resolution as he can so that you can look at every aspect of this vehicle and help you in your decision on buying a car from Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Okay, this is the uh, underside of our 1987 uh, Sierra 1500 uh, GMC truck. Uh, and everything on this vehicle, just looking at it, appears to be original except for four yellow shock absorbers. That's the only thing that I can see that's been really changed under here. Obviously, there's no leaks on the engine, which is the original engine, the original uh, conventional starter, not a gear reduction starter, heavy duty disc brakes in the front. Uh, rotors appear to be really nice. There's a backing plate there. It's hard to see them, but there is a space there where you can, and they don't have any uh, edge on them or anything. Heavy duty calipers on it. Uh, the original springs that are still uh, intact on the car. Original exhaust from what I can see also. This doesn't appear to have been replaced. Um, nice uh, two into one exhaust goes into a huge catalytic converter. I'm going to jump all over the place here. The oil and filter's just been changed in it. Uh, the transmission pan uh, is 
leak free and so is the engine at this point. That doesn't mean a year from now you won't find a drop of oil on the floor. It's just a, an older vehicle and uh, it's just something to be expected. But at this point, there are no leaks on this vehicle detectable. Um, gas tank on each side, one on the left and one on the right. The um, catalytic converter goes into a huge under chassis muffler, which is the original equipment muffler for the vehicle. Uh, looking at the transmission, the speedometer drive, there's no leakage whatsoever on it. Tail shaft, no leakage on it. Uh, you're always going to see a little tiny bit of dampness there, but there's, there's nothing that's dripping at this point. Nothing, absolutely none. The frame is just the, absolutely flawless on this thing. There's no pulls or no uh, marks where it's been jacked up through the years. The floor pans still have their original uh, uh, primer undercoating on them yet. Uh, the the uh, skid plates are plastic. Uh, resilient uh, plastic uh, underneath the uh, gas tanks, left and right. Uh, it has a heavy duty uh, uh, GMC rear end in it, drum brakes in the back, a huge set of drum brakes, absolute huge set of drums on it. Nice curvature to the leaf springs in it. The exhaust system goes into a, it, it's a three inch system that comes back off the split up front and it comes back here, it goes into a two and a half, and then it, that splits into two separate exhaust pipes. Uh, again, there's new shocks in the front, new shocks in the rear. Uh, the um, bed of this thing is just absolutely flawless. There's no deterioration, no nothing. Uh, it still has the original gray uh, um, primer on it from when the car was new. Original spare on a fifth rally wheel, just like the other four that are on the vehicle also. Uh, spare tire that's actually aired up and functional at this point too. This is a... <laughs> There's, it, it's, it's got four new shocks on it. Other than that, it's the way it left the factory from what I can see in 1987. This car uh, presents itself, truck presents itself as a, uh, an original vehicle with just a shock replacement. Other than that, I can't see anything that's been done on the vehicle. Everything appears to be 100% original in every way, and it's just a phenomenal piece of uh, American history. Uh, if you're into pickup trucks, this is one that you certainly want to give uh, your consideration, and it's here at Hangsters at Daytona Beach, Florida. Okay, this is the interior of our uh, Sierra 1500, and uh, it does have a tilt wheel. Look at this. It has a tilt steering wheel on it. it has cruise control has a horn that absolutely works. Um, amp gauge is functioning. The um, oil pressure is functioning also. It's holding, you know, it is about 50 some pounds of oil pressure there. Temperature just starting to come up. I don't know, maybe 120 degrees right now. Uh, we just fired it up here. The uh, fuel gauge is functioning. Jeff gave us a little over a quarter of a tank here. It does have dual tanks too, by the way, and they are switchable. Um, the left turn signal just beating itself to death over here. It is working. Right turn signal also functioning as it should. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Wiper. Let's try wipers. Wipers are working just the way they should. And they are intermittent. Air conditioning. Compressor's kicking on and the fan's on. So, starting to get cold. So the air conditioning is functioning in the vehicle. Definitely does function. It does have a radio. It's a, some kind of Mickey Mouse radio, but we'll see. Yeah. It works. Fast, the radio it does work. It's something that works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It has Armstrong windows. Uh, no power windows in it, but it does have a, a set of windows that do function. And we're going to go for a ride, see what this guy runs like. Okay, we're going down the road. Uh, the speedometer is functioning as it... Uh, as it should. Down the road, no hands. I gotta aim it correctly, but going down the road, no hands on a steering wheel, straight as an arrow. Cannot go any straighter. Uh, we're gonna try um, brakes, no hands. And it stops straight as an arrow, still no hands. We're gonna have to use hands. We're gonna run a turn now, so we're gonna have to definitely use hands. Very tight, nice running vehicle. Uh, <coughs> I mean, it shows 34,000 miles on the clock here, uh, and uh, there's no reason to believe that that's not the actual miles on it. I haven't checked the title to see if it's designated actual miles. It's probably exempt because of the year, but uh, there's no, no reason to believe that it actually doesn't have 30,000 miles on it. Car runs and drives and, and just as nice as can be. 
We'll take it out here and give it a little kick for you and see what it runs like. Got a lot of traffic on the road today, Jesus. That's about 60 mile an hour there. Uh, nice, nice pulling vehicle. Um, it, 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 it really, really pulls well. I wouldn't try any uh, new Z06s or anything with it, but they can't pull a trailer, you can. Um, this is a really nice vehicle. Uh, it, it, it just is nice and taut uh, suspension-wise as you'd ever hope to find a vehicle. I'll try to roll this window up. There's a lot of wind noise. The, uh, the car is tight in every way. I mean, it stops well. It, it, uh, it goes down the road straight as an arrow, no hands on a steering wheel, and it, it just, it, it, it's just a really nice running uh, driving vehicle. All the uh, gauges function, the air conditioning works as it should, and the paint is just exemplary on this. And again, I, I cannot find uh, any indication that the car has been painted in the past. Um, and this is a vehicle that if you're in the market for a uh, pickup truck, uh, and this generation of pickup truck is really getting to be hot at this point. We had a couple of these uh, in Blazers, you know, 87, 89 uh, uh, Chevy Blazers, and they vaporized for a heck of a lot more money than we're going to ask for uh, uh, this vehicle. It's in hangsters, and it's definitely uh, warrants your attention. Uh, Dev is going to have a slew of video pictures and still pictures for you, high resolution for you to take a look at and examine every aspect of it. So. Take a look at it. Let's see your hangsters in Daytona Beach.